Welcome back, everybody. Hey, Kate. Hey. Hello. So we are back for another episode, and today we are going to talk about why people say that copywriting is hard to get into. I've heard it. Kate's heard it. Um, if you are interested in getting into copywriting and you have talked to maybe friends, coworkers, um, random people you meet at cocktail parties when we used to be able to go to cocktail parties, uh, maybe you have heard it from them. And we're going to break down today exactly why people say it's hard to get into. And then we're actually going to talk about what it's actually like to get into it and what the actual steps are and what it takes to be successful. So Kate, I know that you have heard why you've heard people say, oh, copywriting, it's, it's hard to get into. Uh, where have you heard it the most often? That's a good question. I think the, the other question that kind of goes with it too is, oh, it's hard to get into or how the heck did you get into it? Like where, how, how do you even start? Where do you begin? Um, where I hear it probably every time someone asks me what I do for a living. Um, and once I explain what copywriting is, it's kind of a very close second question of what is that? And how, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Um, and then if they know what it is, I think to your point, that's I I've heard a lot of folks, even in the marketing space too, of like, okay, I got into marketing, but I didn't know, like, that just seemed really hard. And I, maybe I wasn't a good writer or, um, that kind of angle is what I get most. Mm -hmm. I would say that I have heard it often, really mostly just in like random conversations. You know, when you meet someone, they say, oh, what do you do? And I say, oh, I'm a copywriter. And if, if they know what it is, um, often I will hear, uh, oh, wow, you know, I was really interested in, in doing that. Or, oh, I did that for a while. Oh, but, ooh, that's a really, that's a really hard industry. Or, ooh, it's, it's hard to make money at that. Yeah. Um, which, as you and I both know, is not actually the case. <laughs> it's, it's a career, um, but it's not some, it's not a unicorn career. It's certainly possible to make uh, a very nice living. Um, so whenever I hear that, I will, my first question will always be, oh, you know, where did you, um, where did you learn to write copy? Um, and almost to a person, whenever I say, oh, where did you learn to write copy? The answer is something like, oh, well, you know, I'm just, I've always been a good writer. So I just decided to, I decided to mark myself as a yeah. copywriter, to say I was a copywriter and to start telling people as a copywriter to get copywriting work. Yep. Um, and the problem with that is, is that copywriting is a very specialized type of writing and um, it is totally different from any other type of writing and the objectives are totally, totally different. Um, the skills that you use are totally different. Um, the markings that you look for in your writing are totally different from any other type of writing. And if you don't know how to do that, if you haven't gotten the training to write copy. And if you haven't then practiced and honed your skills, um, then no, you don't know how to write copy. And it's not really a surprise that you've had trouble getting clients because you don't know how to write copy. Or as you've said in previous episodes, maybe you land one client, but once they figure out that you don't know what you're doing, they're certainly not going to hire you for another project. And they're absolutely not gonna refer you to their friends. Yeah. And word of mouth is super powerful. We all know. It absolutely um, is. It absolutely is because most business owners have other business owner yeah. friends that they are happy to share your information with if you are a good copywriter. Yeah. And it's, it, it's baffling in some ways to me because, you know, I'm a very dive right in type of person if I'm doing it for myself. So say I'm learning how to make candles. That's okay if I screw up time and time again for my own consumption that, you know, maybe the wick is not right and it doesn't actually become a candle. I don't know candle making, but um, <laughs> I think that's pretty clear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you know, I don't get the wax right and it doesn't burn and it smokes. I don't know. Um, and that's fine if I'm doing that for my own hobby and interests. I'm fine dumping, diving right in and experimenting. Um, but when I'm selling something, and if anyone's selling anything, you have to know what you're doing in order to sell it. It's just like you wouldn't hop in a plane and say, I'm a pilot now and go. Yes, this, that's more dramatic and there's higher consequences for sure with some careers than others. Um, but there is that consequence of, um, you know, we're getting around that you're, you're not able to deliver on what, what you say it is that you can deliver. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, and even just, you know, every kind of career requires that you know what you're doing. I mean, yeah. I like to go to Target. I think many people like to go to Target. <laughs> but just because I like to go to Target doesn't mean I could go in there and immediately start working there. I don't know what their stocking systems are. I don't know what their point of sale systems are. I don't know how their inventory works. I, there are huge elements to it that just because I like it a lot, I couldn't do it professionally because I don't know how to do it. I haven't received the training. So it's any career is like that. Yeah. Um, it's the, the second, difference between oh. a, a, sorry, it's the difference between a hobby, I think, and a career. Mm -hmm. What, what, what is the difference? Um, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. one thing you like doing, the other thing maybe hopefully like doing too, but you are extra skilled in it and you, you are um, not doing it for fun at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you're an expert. fun might be an element of it, but Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're providing a valuable service and yeah, absolutely. People will pay you when you're providing a valuable service. Yeah. Um, the, the second part that, you know, if people have, have learned and have studied and the, the second part, when people will say, Oh, it, it's hard to get into is that if it's, again, if it's their own experience, um, is that they, they, Oh, I learned it, but I just couldn't find any clients. Well, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a system for how to find and pitch and land clients and then keep getting work from those clients, keep those clients happy and keep pitching work to them, uh, then yeah, it's absolutely going to be hard to find clients. You know, the it would be a wonderful world if you could put up a website, you know, change your LinkedIn profile and say, okay, now I'm a copywriter, come to me with all your copywriting projects. Um, that would be fantastic. And that is absolutely not the way it works, sadly. You know, you need to have an actual plan and a system, a proven and, and replicable system, a rinse and repeat system that you can do again and again that will bring in clients. Um, and I, I know that sometimes creative people, especially hear systems and they go, oh, but there's plenty of room for creativity activity within the system. But what it, it is, is it means that there are just, there's steps that you take and you take these steps again and again, and these steps bring in clients to you. There's plenty of room for serendipity, plenty of room to, you know, talking to someone in a grocery line and it turns out they need a copyright. It's plenty of room for that, but you're not relying on serendipity. You're not relying on hoping that someone's going to refer you. You're not relying on, on, magically some project is going to fall into your lap because hoping and wishing is not a strategy. That's not, if you are relying on hoping and wishing, you are going to have a real hard time putting food on the table. So yeah, it, it is hard to quote unquote hard if one, you don't know what you're doing or two, you don't know how to find and land clients, then yeah, that does make it really difficult. Absolutely agree. Thanks for watching. Make sure you don't miss any tips, tools, or tactics for copywriters by clicking subscribe right now. And of course, you can always find us over at filthyrichwriter.com. We'll see you next time.